Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. Things are starting to roll in the right direction for the Indiana Hoosers when it comes to the transfer portal because I made a video a couple days ago talking about how Miles Rice, the Washington State point guard, had transferred to Indiana. And that was huge for the Hoosers because they needed a point guard. They have not had a dynamic point guard in years. And Miles Rice, should be able to help fill that role. Indiana still needs some three-point shooting, which they're going to be looking at in the portal, but they also needed a center to be able to help replace Khalil Ware's production from this past season since he's going off to the NBA. And Indiana just landed the number one player in the entire transfer portal. Not the number one center, but the number one player in the entire transfer portal. A guy that North Carolina wanted, a guy that Arkansas was looking to get, Louisville as well. And you know that Arkansas now is John Cal party. And with the Tyson Food Group being a big booster down there in Fayetteville, Arkansas, you know that the Razorbacks have a ton of NIL. But the Arkansas Razorbacks could not get him to visit. And Indiana, after his official visit to the Hoosiers, Umar Balo has committed to the Indiana Hoosiers. I'm going to go over how massive of an addition this is for Indiana to land Umar Balo over all of the other competition that was trying to land him. And whether Indiana and Mike Woodson might be destined to be a fantastic team next season in college basketball. Now, Indiana fans, they want to win. They have been wanting to win for years, and they got a little taste of it again when Trace Jackson Davis was in town with the two seasons that Mike Woodson was the head coach in Bloomington. But after Trace Jackson Davis left for the NBA, Indiana took a step back last year. They did not make the NCAA tournament. Khalil Ware had a really good season for Indiana. Malik Renew played fairly well. McKenzie and Baco showed up down the stretch. But Indiana's backcourt play was insufficient outside of Trey Galloway. Zay Xavier Johnson was hurt most of the season. So Indiana didn't make the tournament. And the pressure is heating up on Mike Woodson to win right now or he is fired. Because Indiana, whether people look at them as a blue blood program or not anymore, I still believe that they are. But a lot of people do not think highly of Indiana right now, including a lot of the Indiana fans themselves. They know that Indiana is a program that in the past had so much success. But recently, they've been a program that's been struggling to just make the NCAA tournament consistently. In the last eight years, Indiana Indiana has only made the NCAA tournament twice. So that shows you how much Indiana has been struggling. But Mike Woodson knows that Indiana needed an influx of talent. And Indiana has deep pockets as well. They've got a lot of NIL money going to their basketball team. They've got boosters as well like these other programs. And that was huge in being able to help Umar Balo commit to Indiana. Because like I said, North Carolina, they're losing Armando Baycott. And that's a big loss for North Carolina. They need a center to be able to replace what he did for North Carolina this past season, but this is what I wrote on Twitter because somebody said, imagine committing to a team led by Mike Woodson over Hoover Davis. And I said, to be fair, Mike Woodson has gotten two centers into the NBA and Trace Jackson Davis and Khalil Ware, where Hoover Davis only has Baycott and he probably won't get drafted. And I think that's a massive point. You can say whatever you want about how Mike Woodson is not a great coach and that he has mightily struggled in the NBA to have consistent success and now in college basketball as the head coach of Indiana, and you could talk about how his offensive style is outdated. I agree with all those points, but the one thing you can't say against Mike Woodson is that he has brought guys to the NBA, especially guys at the center position in his short stint so far at Indiana. And Hubert Davis, he has had success at North Carolina, but with the bigs, Baycott's probably not going to be a guy that has a lot of success in the NBA, more than likely, unless he can improve in certain areas. So that's why Mike Woodson is doing a fantastic job at landing centers, because he's showing them the tape of the guys that he has helped improve and his time in Bloomington and Umar Balo sees that and you know he's going to be a guy that wants to go off to the NBA and this is what I wrote also on Twitter Mike Woodson and Indiana are cooking in the transfer portal right now in response to Joe Tipton tweeting out that Arizona transfer Umar Balo a top five player in the portal a lot of services rank him as the number one player in the portal has committed to Indiana he averaged 13 points per game and 10 boards this past season and he is seven feet tall which is huge because of the fact when you look at Zach Eady being gone now out of the Big Ten. He's going off to the NBA. Umar Balo is going to be one of the biggest players in the Big Ten next year. Aaron Bradshaw has transferred to Ohio State as well from Kentucky, and he's seven foot one, and he's got a lot of upside. I'm going to do an entire portal update video coming up soon, and I was actually going to have that as my next video, but there's so much going on right now with Umar Balo announcing he's going to Indiana. Had to make a singular video on that, but definitely we'll be talking about Aaron Bradshaw coming up soon. 
But Umar Balo is going to be one of the best bigs in the Big Ten next season. He's been in college basketball for four years, and he's improved his stats in college basketball almost every season. In his first year at Arizona, he averaged three points per game. Then he upped it to seven points per game. Then he averaged 14 points per game last year. And then this past season, he averaged 13 points per game. So a little bit of a step back there. But he improved his rebounding up to 10 rebounds per game. So he was a double-double machine. He also blocks a decent amount of balls. He averaged over a block per game. He only shoots 49% at the line. That's the only negative with Umar Balo. But he did shoot 70% at the free throw line as a sophomore. So there is still potential for him to shoot a little bit better at the free throw line. But he's got to get better at that. He shoots those 65% from the field. He has a beast down low. And also Indiana was looking at Amari Williams, the Drexel center in the portal. But he's a better defensive big. Umar Balo is a better offensive big. And yes, Indiana is going to have to have a guy that can play defense down low. And Umar Balo is good enough in that department. But I believe it is very important for Indiana to have a center that is pretty good offensively, especially if Malik Renu does get in foul trouble like he so often does. But when you look at Indiana's potential roster for next season, it's not just Umar Balo. Indiana has brought in a couple of huge players so far in this offseason with Bryson Tucker, a five-star freshman. That really helps alleviate the blow of Liam McNeely decommitting from Indiana. Bryson Tucker, he's not as good of a shooter, but he's a really good slasher. And I think that he's going to be a guy that can have an impact immediately as a freshman for Indiana. Then Indiana brought in Miles Rice, the point guard from Washington State. And he's a mature guy for his age because unfortunately he had cancer a few years ago. So even though he's only a sophomore, he is over 20 years of age. So he's definitely going to be a guy that I think can play in the Big Ten next season. He averaged 15 points per game in the Pac-12 this past year. He's only going to get better. He needs to shoot the three ball better, but that's a massive addition for Indiana to help out in the backcourt. Then you got Trey Galloway back and Anthony Lill, two great program guys for Indiana who have been with the program for five seasons. And Trey Galloway could be an all Big Ten player next year, playing with better teammates. Then Malik Renew, if he could stay out of foul trouble a little bit more, he can improve. McKenzie and Baco's back, the Big Ten freshman of the year from this past season. He's probably going to be a guy that can get better. Ja'Kai Newton is a guy that did not play as a freshman because he had a lot of injuries, but I think he could showcase some things as a redshirt freshman this season. And Indiana now with Umar Balo has four positions left. And I think Indiana needs to get another guard in the backcourt. And that's where the other players that they're looking at in the portal could definitely help in that department. They're looking at Kane and Carlisle, the Stanford guard, and there's already a crystal ball selection for him to go to Indiana. So if the Hooters can land Kane and Carlisle, that would be big. They also are looking at Ron Conwell, the Indiana State transfer guard. I think if Indiana can land Kane and Carlisle and Ron Conwell, Indiana would be absolutely loaded for next season. And they would definitely be a top 25 team. But definitely Indiana fans can't get ahead of themselves. All these things are not in place just yet. But if the first two additions that Indiana has landed in Umar Balo and Miles Rice to the portal are any indication, then good news possibly looks to keep flowing into Bloomington, Indiana. Indiana's got deep pockets, as I mentioned before. They got tons of NIL. They have a fantastic fan base. And yes, they've struggled for a very long time. But in this NIL era, possibly things could be helping out the Hoosiers in the long run if they can continue continue to bring in talented players through the transfer portal and through the high school class, continue to bring back guys in the program from previous seasons like they've done with Trey Galloway, Anthony Leal, and Malik Renu, and even McKenzie and Baco. Indiana's got the perfect mix of guys right now. Mike Woodson just has to run a little bit more of a modern offense, and if he can do that with all of this talent that's coming into Bloomington, then I think Indiana's going to be a better team next season. Umar Balo is going to be a beast down low, and you pair him with some of the guys that Indiana has around him like McKenzie and Baco, Bryson Tucker, Trey Galloway, and Miles Rice. And if Indiana can bring in Kane and Carlisle and possibly Ryan Conwell, then I'm really liking what I'm seeing for Indiana for next season. I don't want to give Indiana fans false hope, but this is definitely one of the best off seasons that Indiana has had in a while so far, bringing in guys like Bryson Tucker, now Miles Rice, and Umar Balo. And it doesn't look like the Hoosiers are done just yet. And if they are not, and they bring in a couple more really good players, then I really do believe Indiana could be a dangerous team next season in college basketball. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about Umar Balo committing to Indiana over Arkansas and North Carolina. And players want to play for Mike Woodson, who has brought guys off to the NBA, despite the fact the Hoosiers have had some struggles on the court. And whether you believe that this is the year that Mike Woodson can help lead the Hoosiers by bringing in all of these great players through the portal and allow Indiana to be one of the top teams in the Big Ten next season and possibly be able to make a run in the NCAA tournament next year. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.